cannot be serious. It's Mrs. Pot. It's a Beauty and the Beast Disney official Mrs. Pot tea kettle. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. This is truly one of a kind. <gasps> and there's Chip. It comes with its own teacup. It's a Mrs. Pot and Chip teapot collection. It's a set. Oh, this is wonderful. Can you imagine the smiles? Can you imagine the joy having a tea service with these two lovable items? Mm, this would be wonderful for my granddaughter. She was just telling me she always wanted to drink a beverage poured from Angela Lansbury's head. Let's take a closer look. Oh, Mrs. Pot, this is hysterical. And let's take a look at Chip. I'm gonna grab your nose, Mr. Chip. Mmm. Wait a second. It plays music. It's from Schmidt. You know I can't resist the Schmidt. Oh, that is just charming. Can you hear the song? But what about Mrs. Pot? She plays music too. Oh, careful, Mrs. Pot. Oh, they're both playing that wonderful song. Be my guest. <laughs> oh, that is a charming melody. I can't wait to share this with my grandchildren. And they'll play with these all day long. They both play music. It's so rare to see these days. Let's take another close look. Oh my. It looks like Mrs. Pot has had some use. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a chip on the top. It looks like someone tried to repair it themselves. But they use Gorilla Glue. What kind of maniac uses wood glue on porcelain? Oh, and a little bit down there. And it looks like some of it dripped on Mrs. Potts' hat. Well, isn't that a shame? I don't think I'd pay more than $60 for this item then. But I've always believed that when you see imperfections in items like these, it means that they were used with love, maybe by a child. And it's okay. It just adds to the charm. I still think Mrs. Pot looks pretty good, just like Angela Lansbury. Have you seen her? She's aged well. Let's take a closer look at Chip. What's this? Oh, you can't fool me, Chip. That's not a real Chip. That's a Disney Chip. That's part of his character. In some ways, he's fortunate he's named Chip. Oh my goodness, I just figured it out. He's called Chip because he has a chip. You know, you're never too old to learn. That's what I've always said. And you're never too old to buy Chip and Mrs. Pot on eBay.